Okay, McLean, thank you very much for your time today. Um, tell us how your knee's coming along and what your plans are. Uh, the knee's coming along pretty well. Uh, the doctors are very happy. It's not coming along as quickly as I would like, um, but it was pretty serious injury, obviously, so uh, just needs a little bit of time. Uh, we're hoping to be back in the saddle by the end of March, beginning of uh, April, uh, and showing the beginning of May. Uh, I've been lucky enough that George Morris, our chef to keep, has uh, put us on the short list uh, with both of my top horses, uh, Sapphire and Antares, and uh, we have observation sites at Devon in May, and in Calgary uh, in June, so we're going to try to aim to be ready for those as well prepared as we can be, and uh, obviously build towards the Olympics. It's not an easy task, but we hope for the best. So you're planning to be back in the tack by, by May? Uh, I'm planning on being back in the tack riding by beginning of April and Fantastic. showing by May. So hopefully good, everything good. goes well, knock on wood. Yeah, and your patients, are, your patients are holding up okay with all this? Uh, not really, but... No. Uh, uh, this is the way life works sometimes, and uh, you know, of course, sports can be can be a little hazardous, and I'm pretty lucky, and uh, just a freak accident, and uh, no real real reason to blame anything, just uh, something we have to deal with. Sure, it must be tough watching the Grand Prix yesterday, you know. Uh, it's really difficult. I mean, luckily, I have a great student who won has won a big Grand Prix, Katie Dynan, this year in Florida, and really been doing great, but. Uh, Obviously, my first love is competing, and uh, you know, when I get about halfway through the class, I get a little annoyed and sometimes go for a walk uh, or a hobble. Yeah. But um, you know, I think it helps you focus for when you come back. And um, once in a while, you hit these bumps in the road, and you, you're lucky to have good people around you and get through and, and move forward. Good. And how is it, how is Sapphire doing? Uh, Sapphire looks great. That's one of the frustrations. We we just brought her back. She jumped two classes the first week before I got hurt. Um, it felt really good. Um, but I have a great team behind me with Eric and Lee keeping her really fit and her weight good and and uh, I actually don't think the horses will be any any worse off for the break. Normally they actually fare pretty well with these kind of things. It's it's ourselves that have to get back in gear. Good. Um, and um, you've been using Horse First for the last couple of years. How important are good supplements in your regime for your training and your horses? Well, I think they're essential. You know, I think. Uh, you know, in a, in a sport where, where the health of the rider and the horse is becoming more and more uh, evident results, you know, the, the, the fitter, healthier um, we can be and the horses can be, uh, the better your performance. And, and like every other sport in the world, we're getting down to inches. And every bit of edge you can get is uh, going to show in the results. Um, I think a healthy horse who are truly the athletes is, is the key to success. Um, horse First is a great product. Um, I've had uh, bar managers now with me 24 years and they, they swear by the product, feel it's the finest they've ever used and, and I, I think it's a huge part of our success. Well McLean from everybody, let's hope you get back on the saddle as soon as possible. Well thank you, I hope to see you guys all in Dublin and uh, later in the summer and have some good luck this year. Thank you.